Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a particular type of chemical reaction which is that of an acid and a metal reacting. Acids can react in five different ways. They can react with metal hydroxides, metal oxides, metal carbonates, metal hydrogen carbonates and lastly active metals. We are only going to focus on when they react with active metals. There are three acids that you need to learn. The first is that of nitric acid, the second is sulfuric acid, and finally, the last one is hydrochloric acid. Acids react with some metals to form compounds called salts and hydrogen gas. The likelihood of an acid-metal reaction occurring can be predicted using a reactivity series. If the metal is above hydrogen in the reactivity series, then it will react with the acid to form the salt and hydrogen gas. Let's have a look at an example. If we have hydrochloric acid reacting with a piece of magnesium, what we will see is that we will produce hydrogen gas, which can be seen through bubbles, and the magnesium will dissolve to form a salt. In this case, the salt is called magnesium chloride. It's important that we are able to predict the names of the salts that are formed. The first part of the name is easy because it comes from the metal that it's reacting with. The second part of the name comes from the acid. In this case, hydrochloric acid would change to a chloride salt. Sulfuric acid would change to a sulfate salt and nitric acid would change to a nitrate salt. Let's now have a look at a specific example. Use this reactivity series to predict if a reaction would occur between nitric acid and calcium metal. Pause the video and have a go. Hopefully what you saw is that calcium is above hydrogen. Hydrogen here represents our acid and because calcium is above it we know that a reaction will occur. We can write this through a word equation. We represent our reactant as given to us in the question followed by our product. We know that hydrogen gas is produced. The last thing is our salt. The first part of the name comes from the metal. The second part of the name comes from the acid. Let's have a look at another example. In this case, we have sulfuric acid reacting with silver metal. Pause the video and predict if a reaction will occur. Hopefully, what you saw is that silver is below hydrogen in the reactivity series. This means that no reaction will occur.